Just behind me is the remains of the old town wall, which is pretty cool. So it's like real old. The original, like the brick here. Also, uh, if you go over here, you see the gate. The gate of the old town, right here. So uh, it's really cool to still see that they have those artifacts here. That's it. Right, Jake, what do you think? It's old, you're gonna ruin it. It cracks, falls apart. Got anything to say about that, uh, those artifacts here behind us? The first I'm seeing of them. What do you think about them? They are small, but deadly. Good morning, everybody. It's breakfast time, and uh, it's not the good breakfast, but uh, the room in here is really cool. So, Danik wanted me to show you how cool it was. Look, to buy me, behind me is like a little like 3D sculpture of like Tibet with like a stage. It's like a banquet hall we're in here. Look, these really nice, like like the wedding chairs. And they're playing classical music, and they have not the best food, but what they do have is these like gummy worms. Which I don't know is that a typical thing for breakfast in China. I don't know you told me. So we're here at the Panda Research Center, waiting in line because there's a lot of people here, of course. So uh, we're gonna see the panda soon, which is pretty exciting. So now we're here at the panda enclosure, and there's a panda sitting with his butt turned to us. I mean, look, look at him. There he is. Look, the little guy. Is it a baby or adult? Is it a teeny, a toddler? He's eating his little bamboo and he's just chilling. He's so cute. So behind me, in that tree up there, you can only see him. But he's up there is a baby panda. He's so cute. I definitely want to steal him and take him home. And he looks like our dog. He looks like Cody. This one repositions itself. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. This one's laying in the tree that's like this. Arms spread out. Oh my gosh. Where is he? Point him, point him to me. The mom. Oh, she, oh my gosh, she's laying in the tree, just like snoozing like that. Those baby pandas were adorable. So they were just climbing everything. The one just climbed all the way up and just like laid out there. Like he was gonna fall. I know, it kept looking like he was gonna fall, but he's hung out there. He's like, I'm good, I'm good. And I'm the other one. That he kept walking to the end of the branches. I know, he kept walking. I know. It's so skinny, but he was somehow holding them up. They were so cute. So we're gonna steal one? Yep. So what's the plan? How are we gonna steal one? Uh, I already told Danica, bring come back with Cody. Our dog, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Paint his eyes black. Yep. And he looks exactly like a panda. And yeah. he has the same attitude. You go, look, we got a new panda. And uh -huh. you have to dress in the uniform. Okay. Oh, we got a new panda. Uh huh. So they let us in. Uh huh. We gotta go put it down in the cage with the other pandas. Uh huh. And then we load all the pandas into a cartridge. We'll get out of there. Okay, good. So we're gonna take those pandas as babies? Uh, yeah, or n more newborn so they can get used to the dogs at home. Okay, would they like Cody? Uh, very much. They have the same attitude. Okay. So that's, what, that's our plan. Mm hmm. So, so if, if, if you're watching this, don't tell the authorities. Yep, okay, thanks. So we just saw the little babies playing with each other, like fighting. Um, it was really, or toddlers. It was really cute to see because the one didn't want any part of it. He was just playing with his toys while the other two were on the bridge, nice. just fighting each other. So we're also able to see the red pandas. Those are the guys that look like little foxes. We call those the Theo, the Theo pandas, because they're like our other dog Theo. And the regular pandas are like Cody, because they're lazy and dumb and fat. So what do you think about the red pandas? They're cute, but they're I like cute. The, the white ones. Obviously the babies the white. are the white ones. Brown. White, more like brown. We're, we're, we're better. 
They're cute and they're playing with each other. So, uh. I like the baby. The baby. Oh, the little tiny yeah, one. Yeah, some of that. Yeah, that's so no cute. No flesh. No flesh. <laughs> uh, so we did change our itinerary for today. We're not doing the Taoism mountain anymore due to the, uh, due to the landslide. So, uh, we're going to, uh, go back to, uh, Chengdu. We're gonna see the, a monastery there and a temple, I think? Or ru ruins? No? No, no, just a monastery there. And then we're gonna go to an old city, which would be cool to see, right? So, uh, yeah, good day overall so far, and we'll uh, see you in Cheng. Do Deuces. <laughs> so we're here at a, another temple. Uh, there's a lot of them here in China. Um, this one apparently is more holy than the others. I don't know. Uh, two real families stayed here, so it makes it super holy. It's very cool. Wenchu Monastery, actually. The most popular monastery in Chengdu. I stole it from tour guide, so. Uh, but it's you know looks like the other one is very cool. Can't film inside obviously, like the other reasons. But uh, very cool, like the little curved sides of the building. So also cool to see uh, people praying, people you know worshiping Buddha. It's cool to be able to see that culture. So let's, we're gonna just look around and uh, then we're gonna eat lunch. So we're here at the Wishing Tower. So what you have to do to make a wish is you have to walk around it three times and make your wish inside of your heart, and it will come true. So that's what I'm doing. That's Taking too many. Take it three laps. Huh? That's too, too many. Too many laps? That's too, too many. Too, too many? Yeah. Well, we're going on one lap. Do you know what your wish is already? Uh, no. No? So you just got to think of a wish. So now we're on Tibetan Street. Uh, it's the street where you know, all of the Tibetan people are. It's like wow, really, really the monks and everything. Like they're they're walk the Tibetan Brand quarter, yeah. So all the monks are here and they're walking up and down the street. They have all their shops. So we're gonna walk around. Maybe get some uh, yak milk. Oh, I don't want that because that's authentic, you know. But it's apparently what they drink. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what they have. Definitely, we'll see what happens, right? Okay. So we are here in the old city, and that's exactly what it sounds like. It's an old city in uh, in Chengdu or outside of Chengdu. Um, they have a bunch of, you know, really old buildings, uh, tower, old towers, a bunch of old cool stuff to see. Um, so we're gonna walk around and uh, explore it. And uh, Jake, what are we gonna do? Uh, line? That's my line? <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, let's see what happens. So I just got wet, <laughs> as you saw. Like, kids just all in the, in the water, just like shooting water guns at each other, throwing buckets of water at each other. Throwing at people on the bridge like me, so I'm a little wet now. But that's okay, it's for the experience. Well, it's hot outside, so it felt good. But uh, it's just a hectic here. And they love their water guns and shops. Uh, it's very cool. This, this road is really cool. It's like really narrow, like very traditional kind of market street. Danica. Those are Francesca's and Bacon's this is a PSA. relatives. This is a PSA. <laughs> Do not purchase turtles. They're the worst pets. <laughs> they will get this big. How big? And they'll live like 50 years. Impossible to kill. <laughs> There's a corn ice cream. We're gonna try how weird it is. Is it shaped like corn? Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, corn. Oh, it's so corny. <laughs> oh, it's just corn on the outside. The inside's ice cream. That's really weird. How it taste? Like corn and ice cream. <laughs> it has a waffle cone. This yeah, it corn. does. I like it. Dad. <laughs> All right, so we are at uh, Hot Pot, which is a 
what is what I say? What you say? It's like it's like a melting pot. It's like no, but it's like a big thing in Chengdu. Like it's yeah. like majority, what everyone goes to. Apparently, majority of restaurants. So like there's like six thousand restaurants in Chengdu, and thirty five hundred of them are hot pot restaurants. Is that a fact? That's what she said. That's what said. So a uh, hot pot is basically if you're ever into melting pot, it's exactly like that. We love melting pot. Uh, you just get I've the meat raw, times, get everything <laughs> raw, and you put it in the pot, and you let it cook, and then you eat it. So you cook your own meal. So it's really good. But the table here, forever. the table here is really tiny. Um, and I hope we know how long took our meal meat because she said we don't very speak quickly. here. A little, yeah. a little thing in the center. Oh, we have our this is oil. 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 That's interesting. Little soda, actually. Drink it up. Drink it up. Why do we have so many? And there's Jake. Well, how is it? I spilled stuff on me. Oh. In the sauce. Was it I, good? It was good, yeah. No. It's Guys, amazing. Cook your meat. I have not spicy. Cook your meat. It's amazing, and I'm just gonna take some beef out right now. And I think it's great. It's a little spicy, but it's great. Here, show good. this. You got this here, whatever that is. What is that? Explain. Uh, it's uh, a can of. Coke. Coke. <laughs> no, <laughs> a can of oil, and then you put garlic in it, and then you put your, you put it in the cooking style here, yeah. and then you put it in what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lost the. Oh, it's so slippery. The beef head part. Inside, you know, in the You go a little more. Jake, you go a little more. That's good. Definitely good. I don't know if it's cooked, but it's good. <laughs> so we've successfully finished our hot pot. I am sweating from the heat. Right, Danica? Eternal. My eyebrows are very hot. They're sweating. Uh, but it was very good. How'd everyone like it? Good, good, good. I was you were in there. Uh, so it's very good. Uh, no, you were. You can watch it back. Uh, so uh, now we have to go to bed because we have to get in. No, we have to pack. We have to pack. And My bed's packed. So. Because then we have I need air. Room in there, though. We no, have a uh, flight tomorrow at 7 a.m. So we we'll have to be leave here by five. We don't buy anything here. And then uh, where are we going tomorrow? Gulian. Uh, Gulian. And then we'll be in Gulian. Gulian. We'll see. We don't know what's happening there. We don't know what's happening there. No, we're going to the race. We have a whole free day tomorrow. tomorrow though. No, nothing. Yeah, we so, don't know what we're doing. Uh, we don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Yay. Yeah. No. I have a question. <laughs>